Hello, we are going to see how to extract data from a file that contains the annotation of the position, width and height of a box in an image. This is useful for when you want to make a object location software for any kind of images that you want. So for this purpose, we are going to use VGG Annotator, a tool that is online you require nothing to install for this and start to defining where these objects are in your image. So let's get it started. First, you access to this URL, it's online, everything, and this, is, this works in JavaScript. So this means everything is processed in your site, in your computer, not in a server. So click on load images. In my case, I place all my pictures here in VGG Annotator pictures, and I have four images of cats. So I'm going to upload them all for once and enter or open. You can see in the left panel, we see the images, every one of them, and we are going to select a square, in this case, in this case a, rectang a rectangle. So we just do this and keep doing the same thing for all the rest of the images. And that's everything to for the annotation process. Now we are going to export these as a JSON file. This is the name for it, via region data that JSON, and I'm going to move that into my current directory. Via. So it's here. I'm going to import the pandas. Let's import also NumPy. I'm going to see my current files. Check out this with pandas, with JSON. The name of the file is going to be cats the frame JSON. So this is the, the content. We are going to make a transpose, so we could have the actually the parameters as columns over here. And what we care about here is the name, the file name, and regions. So I'm going to stay just with file name. Here I'm going to reset the index because we don't need the first column. Actually, I'm going to do this first. Great. Now I'm going to update my video frame like this. And later we are going to see what is the content of this regions part extract. So it's a dictionary. Let's see what's the first row. In okay, we have to extract this uh, the key that is actually a string of zero. Then shape attributes. And here we have a very nice view what we need. So let's see if this applies for all the rows.
so in, indeed we, we have everything we need here so now let's create a data frame from this so uh, list. and create transform it into data frame there we go now let's Join this. about uh, Kate name actually Kate with X Y and file name so We have extracted our variable inf information from this uh, JSON file. We're done for this session.